Hi, I am Dr. Levent Eminoğlu. I want to give you some information about reflux disease and its treatment. This is our esophagus, stomach and the duodenum. When we eat, we chew the food in our mouth and swallow. The food bolus travels down the esophagus in a wave motion known as the peristaltic movement and enters the stomach. Here, the food bolus is mixed with acid, pancreatic fluids and bile and digestion starts. This mixture does not harm us because the inner lining of the stomach has a protective layer. But once this content goes back up, that is refluxes, into the esophagus, it causes the inner lining of the esophagus and if it goes further up, the pharynx, larynx and even the sinuses and the lungs to be damaged. This is why reflux symptoms can be very different in every patient and can be mistaken for other diseases. The reason reflux does not happen in healthy people is a valve mechanism which operates here. This mechanism is made up of two parts. The first is the angle here which is called the angle of his. When we eat, the pressure inside the stomach builds up and this angle is pushed onto itself making a check valve action like this. The second part of the mechanism is this pink tissue that surrounds the esophagus. This is a muscular tissue and a part of our diaphragm. After we eat, the pressure zone contracts and the muscle tissue surrounding the esophagus closes the end of the esophagus to prevent the contents from refluxing back. When we look at a healthy valve with the endoscope, it should look like this. At the tip of the endoscope, there is a tiny camera and a light source. It makes a U-turn in the stomach and looks at itself. So the black tube is the endoscope itself and the surrounding pinkish tissue is the stomach. Normally, there is no gap between the two as the gastric valve grasps the endoscope making the valve action. If the gastric valve is not functioning, as in the case of a hiatal hernia, the inner view is like this. The valve does not grasp the endoscope and this creates a gap between the two. So the valve effect is lost. This is the cause of chronic reflux. When we use PPIs in this case, the drug prevents the gastric glands from producing acid. Therefore, in most patients, this prevents heartburn and alleviates symptoms. But since the hiatal hernia is not corrected, the symptoms come back once the drug is discontinued or persist despite drug therapy because resistance develops in prolonged use. The only definitive treatment is correction of the gastric valve function. This can be done endoscopically, laparoscopically, or robotically depending on the condition of the esophagus, the diameter of the hiatal hernia, and also patient preferences. When we do it endoscopically, we go through the mouth as in a conventional gastroscopy and once inside, a baby endoscope comes out and we put a stitch at the valve to narrow it like this. Since this is not a surgical operation, the patient is kept in the hospital for 4 hours and can go home the same day. This treatment has a success rate of 70% provided that the hiatal hernia is smaller than 2 cm. Laparoscopic reflux operation, which is known as the Nissen operation, is the golden standard in reflux surgery. Our team is one of the most experienced surgical teams in Turkey and Europe with more than 2,250 laparoscopic Nissens. In a laparoscopic Nissen procedure, we go through tiny incisions of 3 to 5 millimeters, so the abdomen is not cut. First, we prepare and elevate the esophagus and then use stitches to fix the hiatal hernia. After this, we perform what is known as the fundoplication, using the upper part of the stomach to make a valve like this. The procedure in our hands takes normally 30 minutes. The patient stays in the hospital for one night and can go home the next day. This operation has a success rate of more than 90% in all large series. In our series of 14 years, our success rate is 94%. When we do it with the robot, what is done inside the abdomen is identical to the laparoscopic operation, but in this case, it is done by me using the robot arms while working at the console. 
The robot uses the most advanced surgical technology and has certain advantages. Our team was the first in the world to do a single incision robotic Nissan operation where we used a single entry point through the belly button to do the operation.